Hello everyone and welcome back to the next episode of the AI Rescue Boat Service build series. Now in the last episode we managed to build the hull and also the structure of the boat and we've got the rough shape done. Now in this episode we're going to carry on working on the boat, we're going to get a little bit more detailing done, we're going to improve some of the things we've already built on, we're going to get the windows done and a little bit of the interior done at the same time. So it should be pretty fun. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying the series so far. So let's jump straight in the workbench and let's get started. So we're back in the workbench now. I want to start off by getting our symmetry mode on. I always do that when I'm building, especially when I'm working on the hull and the general shape of the vessel. Once we get into the interior, that's usually when sometimes I'll turn that off. So the first thing I want to do is I didn't really like the front design here. I didn't like how it joined together. So we're going to rework this. So first off, I'm going to go and take my water cannon, put it on the side there, and I'm going to start by deleting pretty much all of this. As I said, I didn't really like how it was coming together, so I want to see if we can redesign this in this episode. So let's start off by working maybe over here, and let's build this up a little bit. And then we're going to maybe go into like a 1x2 pyramid. And I was thinking of having this area at the top a little bit more exposed. A little bit more flat also so we're gonna go and bring it into one of these maybe put that there bring this forwards a little bit and something like that that could work yeah let's let's go with that and then instead of using a one by four let's maybe switch it over to a two by four and put that over there and then this area here we can just fill all of this in cool i think that'll look all right once we're done that, let's go and add maybe a 2x4 pyramid over here. There we go. And let's go and bring this down like that. And then over here, we can just go and rotate this around, bring it up. And then over here, sweep back down to a 1x2 wedge. And then here at the front, we could maybe just do something like that, possibly. Now we do, yeah, I think that looks much better in comparison to what we had. We also need to fit the water cannon in, so what we can do is maybe put it over here for now. Let's just fill some of these blocks in. Something like that, and then we can get the water cannon in over there, so let's go and put that in. Cool. So I think that looks much better. Great. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a hinge on the door here. So we're going to go into our inventory, find a door hinge, delete some of this extra space here and add the door hinge there. Once we've got that, we can actually fill in the rest of the door. So we can just get some random, just random blocks there. And we can possibly just go and add some panel edges. Now, when you're working with this, make sure you line the arrows up so you can see those arrows are pointing in the same direction. And now we can just go and pretty much just fill in all the blanks. You don't want to do the corners because they are specific pieces for that. So we'll come back to those corner pieces at a later point in a few minutes. Once we've got that in, we could also add a lock. So with the custom doors, there is a lock piece where you can actually lock the door. So we're going to add that in. I don't know if we're going to be using it, but might as well add it in any case. That allows us to go and lock the door. Now we can go and get the corner pieces on. I'm going to be turning symmetry mode on for this to help us. And we can just rotate this until it matches up with those lines. And we can continue doing that until it matches up. And there we go. We now have a perfectly sealed door. Now, the next thing I wanted to work on is these little pieces here at the back. Now, I wanted to have these for equipment. However, instead of making a door that kind of opens up, what I was thinking of doing is using the one of the hatches, I think would be a cool way of doing it. So if we were to grab one of the sliding hatches and we were going to go and sink this into the actual hull of the ship. So if we were to delete this off, go and delete that and then put this here. We can now go and have a little hatch here. So once we open that up, we then get access to this area and we can put some equipment in here at a later point. But that's what I was thinking for that. Uh, cool. So now that we've got that in, I also wasn't too happy with how thick this is. This is meant to be kind of like a like kind of like a protection. So when you knock up against other vessels and things like that, you actually don't damage your hull, you end up just damaging this piece here. So it was a little bit too thick for my liking. So I'm just going to go and strip it down a little bit and just bring it down to something a little bit more reasonable, I think. So we're probably going to delete a lot of these blocks here. Maybe just make it look a little better. 
So the whole point of playing with this is that you'll continuously be changing things until you get it to the right point in how you want it. So let's go maybe over here. Let's rotate that, put that down there, grab another one, put another one over there. And that looks okay. It looks a little bit thin. Now, because it's looking a little bit thin, what we can do is we can actually just throw this back a little bit. So we can just go over here, put that there, put that there. Just fill this in with another piece over there. Cool. Fix the painting in a few seconds by going to our black here and just fixing that black there and putting that to white. Okay, so now that we have that in, that looks pretty good. Uh, let's fix this front area here. Now we can do that just using some wedges, uh, the one by one wedges, the one by two wedges, and then also followed by the one by four wedges, if I'm correct. Perfect. So I think that looks much better. We do need to paint underneath it, and we can do that by using the plane fill, grabbing black, plane filling that whole thing. Just like that. Nice and simple, nice and easy. Make sure it's obviously all painted correctly. Uh, and I think that looks much better in comparison to what it was before. Uh, along with that, well, what else do we want to do? Let's add some propellers in now. Now, I did say in the last episode that we might do water jets. I'm kind of leaning towards propellers. Uh, but you guys will let me know what you think. Do you think we should add water jets or do you think we should stay with propellers? I'm kind of in favor of the propellers here. Uh, and I think it looks a little better. Along with that, uh, at the back here, I did also want to add a ladder for us to actually get up onto the boat. So we're just going to go and grab a ladder, maybe bring that down like five, four blocks. Yeah, that should be all right. Cool. Uh, we can also add a little bit more detailing, maybe a few more wages here, just to make it look a little better at the back. Cool. That doesn't look too bad. I think it actually looks pretty cool. Uh, great. So now that we have that, I was also thinking of maybe moving this in by one and also adding some seats on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to go and put that there. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Maybe put that over there. Move this one in, something like that. Grab that, delete all that off. Put that on maybe over here. And then let's see there and there. We're going to move this one back to about there. So there, okay. So I want to keep enough space for us to walk through here. So three blocks is enough. And then we can just fill all that in with just the rail segments that fill that in there. Perfect. Okay, so rail segment extensions. And we're going to go and stick that all the way along there. Great. And get another one here at the back. Now we do want to add some benches or some seats. So we're going to just build it up a little bit. Go and look for our seats and our padded seats. And let's go and rotate that in. Cool. So one there, one there, one there, one there. Great. And now we've got some benches on there. That looks pretty cool. Uh, another thing I was thinking of doing is to add some rope pieces onto the side here. So possibly we we'll go back to black. We could go and add a bunch here. So like one there, maybe skip four, another one, skip another four, another one, skip another four, skip another four, and skip another four. So we add a whole bunch of those. We can even add another one, possibly at the back here. If we could, maybe later on, we'll change that around. Uh, we could even delete this one. Maybe just make that one facing upwards instead. Yeah, it looks all right. So maybe another one up here. Just detailing. It's all I'm doing, just filling this all in, making it look a little better. There'll maybe one here at the front too. Uh, cool. Okay, now we've got that, we can actually connect those together. So just simply connect them together. Now, not all the stuff that I'm kind of doing now is not really essential for building. It's just refi refining how we've designed the vessel uh, and getting it to how I want it. Uh, I also want to maybe add some type of maybe some pipes here. Let's see. So let's go with a corner piece. Rotate that in maybe a corner piece like that. Yeah, something like that could could work. Cool. Okay. So now that we've got that in, let's refine the top section here. So maybe something like that. Bring that there. That doesn't look too bad. And then we're going to have a mast here at some point. Uh, let's go and get a radar. I'm going to get a radar in there. Cool. That doesn't look too bad. 
Okay, let's start working on the interior bit. So we are going to get rid of all these windows and things. We're going to get some XML windows. So I'm going to go and quickly just edit some XML windows. I'm going to get them in here and then I'll meet you guys back. Now, I'm not going to go and show you guys how to edit XML windows. I have got a video on how to do that. I will link it in the video description. I also will post a little card in the top right of your screen. So you want to go and do that, go and check that video out. It shows you exactly how to do it. So I'll meet you guys back once I've done that. All right, so I've just gone and finished the windows. These are all XML edited windows and I think it looks pretty cool. I think the shape looks really nice on the boat. As you can see here, the only problem with these windows is they actually aren't sealed. Now, that's okay if you've got enough buoyancy in your hull, but the problem is I think if we were to spawn this in now, I think this boat won't have enough buoyancy to it. Um, as you can see, it is quite low in the water. We haven't even got the engines in. I do have a little bit of weight at the back, but still, it's not as high as I want it to be, and I still want to raise it up quite a bit. So it, to achieve that, we need to seal this area. Now, if you're using XML windows, as I said, you can't actually seal them. So what we're going to do is we're going to use some large window pieces and we're going to go and fill that in to actually make this completely sealed. So you can see here, we're just gonna place one and two. So you can see those are not placed to seal that. Uh, we can add some more over here. So maybe one there. It doesn't look the greatest, but it is what it is. Uh, and we'll just have to work with it. There is a couple other ways of doing this, um, but I'm not gonna go into the full details of that in this video. Let's get another narrow window and let's put one over there. Cool, so that should now seal all of that. I actually wanna paint this while I'm here. So I don't forget, make it nice and black. Uh, that looks pretty cool actually. We could actually paint this top piece here too if we wanted to. Uh, that looks pretty good. So we should have got a little bit of extra buoyancy from that and that should be all nice and working. Now that we've got that in, we can actually work on the interior. So I wanted to maybe step it up a little bit here. Let's go and close that off there and let's go and get some seats. So we're going to start with just some regular padded seats, maybe one here at the back. Skip one, another one there, and then let's put symmetry mode off. We'll get another seat in possibly here. Let's get a driver's seat. So a driver's seat, and let's put that in over there. Cool. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Nice. Okay. So now that we have that means we can actually go and start digging down and we can have a little bit of a staircase that goes down into a hole. So symmetry mode back on and we can start deleting all this extra stuff that we don't need anymore because it's no longer needed here in the front. That means we can create a little bit of more extra space in our hull. Also means that it's going to be a little bit lighter uh, for when we are actually going and floating in the water, which would be quite useful. I think all of these things here are all extra blocks that we don't need. So we're just gonna go through and delete most of these blocks until we run into an issue. I think most of these are not needed currently. Cool, so now we've got our hull. As I said, we can start building a kind of like a little staircase that goes down. So to do that, we're just gonna go and do something like that. Bring this in like that. And then let's close that off and let's maybe delete some stuff here at the top. Cool, and then maybe here too, put it at an angle. Still sealed though, and that looks good. And now we can grab some stair pieces. So let's do stair, perfect. Go to the side here, rotate that, put it down, put it down, put it down. Looks like we're going to need to extend it, or we could even raise the floor, because this is quite deep in here. So possibly we're going to be raising the floor by let's say one. So I'm just gonna put some blocks in here for now. We'll come back and we'll look at that later on. Cool, so now we've got a little staircase in here and we've got our little bridge area. That's actually looking pretty good. Pretty happy with that. I also probably want another area or another way to get into a hull. So maybe we could add a little hatch here. So let's go and add a hatch here. And that should now allow us to get in and out of the hull. And we'll test that in a few seconds. Let's go and jump on our creation. Cool. So that will allow us to get in here and then we can, in theory, walk up, do a head our head a bit there. That should be all right. And let's get in the driver's seat. Not too bad. We need to obviously still look at the weight issue, but that's something we can 
through the later stage at the moment it's just about our design and just seeing how everything kind of fits together and I'm pretty happy with how that is looking at the moment. Cool. So now that we've got that, I did also mention that I wanted some type of mast here at the back. Now, once again, I'm going to XML edit some pipes. It's exactly the same process as doing it for Windows. So once again, I recommend you go and check out my video on how to edit XML Windows. And also, if you guys want to, I will leave a link to a website that uh, Struner has created that actually is like a visualizer to see how to edit your XML pieces and then feed you back the actual XML coordinates that you can enter into your block, which is really quite useful if you want to visualize something instead of changing something, going back to the game, looking at it, going and changing something. You can just quickly visualize that it's in his little tool and then you can go and make that change in game. So it's really pretty cool. So I'm going to go and do that and I'll meet you guys back once that's done. Alrighty, so I've just gone and edited the pipes here to make this work. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, you can see how it's going and curving backwards and also inwards. And then these ones go straight up and then on there I've just gone and put some windows, uh, a little spotlight and a little transponder. I think it looks pretty cool. I'm not 100% sure on this T piece here at the top, uh, whether I want to make it a T piece or if I'm happy to leave it just one piece. Uh, I'm not 100% sure just yet what I'm going to be doing with that. But I think that looks pretty cool in how that works. Once again, if you don't want to edit XML edit this, you could just use normal pipes. Uh, you just won't, it won't look that nice and curved really. Great, so now that we've got that all in, we can carry on doing a couple more tweaks. So for example, I'm gonna start deleting some of these extra blocks that we have inside of the hull that we don't really need. Uh, these three here, let's see. Yeah, we need the three blocks there. So we're gonna keep those in, uh, but that gives us a little more room inside here. Uh, we can add more detailing underneath here so we can add some more blocks and then eventually we're going to get our engines now i haven't decided if we are going to go with modular engines or if we're just going to go and use regular engines remember this is designed as a boat for the ai service so it's going to be lua scripted so i'm not 100 percent sure if i want to use modular engines um, but I'd love to hear you guys comments in the video description below. What do you guys think? Do you think we should be using modular engines for a mission like this? Uh, let's go and spawn that. Let's go see how that's actually floating in the water at the moment. So that's not bad. That's not bad at all. It's leaning a little bit to the side. Obviously, once we get engines and things like that inside, I think it's going to be much better. Uh, let's go and add some. Let's go and add some engines just for placeholders. At the moment, we can go and add like two two of the media engines here at the back uh, just as a placeholder once again until we get everything right let's go and see how that is currently sitting in the water I think I do need to get rid of some of these extra blocks I think there's quite a few extra ones here but uh, let's see okay so that's sitting a little bit low not bad though and how it's sitting now if we want to increase the height obviously we can delete some weight off there or we can also use the pivot glitch as we like to call it uh, so what you could do is you literally just go into the hull and you start adding a whole bunch of pivots so for example we just go and add a whole bunch over here like that and you can add some at the back too if you need to so like there I usually you know if I don't usually recommend this technique um, for every situation the one reason is adding more bodies causes more physics and causes lag here in Stormworks. So that's why sometimes I don't usually recommend you add a whole bunch of these. Um, but when you're building a very small boat like this, just because Stormworks is Stormworks, uh, unfortunately you do have to do things like this. Let's go and spawn that. Let's see how that's going to look. So you can straight away see how much higher that's sitting in the water in comparison to how it was sitting a few minutes ago. So much better in terms of how that's looking. So yeah, I think that's great. Now I'd like to do some painting and I think I'll leave that for the next episode. Once we do the painting, we'll start doing some systems, maybe start adding the real engines in there, start doing a little bit of the interior also. But guys, I'd love to hear your comments of what you're thinking about this episode so far. What you like about the boat, what don't you, what would you like to see changed or maybe even added here in the future. And I think that's a great place to end the episode off with. If you have enjoyed the episode, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and remember to click the little bell icon to be notified about my future content as soon as it gets posted. Until the next episode, we will see you then.